What's up guys, one more time, bring you guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington football nation. Now today, obviously, I'm going to be talking about the heartbreaker, the absolute heartbreaker that was on loss versus the Detroit Lions yesterday. Our team fought hard, coming back from 17-3 at halftime down at 1.24-3 to make it 24-24, and for the Lions to win off a walk-off 59-yard touchdown. Oh, contact's messing up. 59-yard touchdown. Oh, wait. Absolute heartbreaker from Matt Prater. <sighs> Can't think I'd miss. Like, like who wants to decide? Just, just once. Miss! Miss! That's all I ask. But no, he has to be like, probably a Hall of Fame kicker and make it and blah, 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 blah. Ugh. Uh, it was definitely a heartbreaker. I, after the game ended, I just kind of stared at the screen for probably about like 10 minutes and I was just kind of like, uh, let's see, I'm not, not racing this cup. I was kind of like, for 10 minutes, just straight, I was like, what just happened? Because we were on such a comeback. Alex Smith's first start back, which was awesome. No touchdown passes, but he had a career high in 390 passing yards, when being 38 for 55 passing. Not bad at all when you're asked to pass almost every single play of the game. Gibson ran, had a good couple touchdowns. Remember, was it McKissick or Barber that had the touchdown? I think it was McKissick, but I'm not 100% on that. Cam Sims is stepping up, man. He had, uh, what, 54 yards, I think? Throwing four catches, I think. Um, I mean, 55. Absolute baller there. Absolutely just balling out there. I think he's doing amazing. He's really stepped up to the play. I think he's just solidifying his spot as receiver number two. Uh, he's doing much more than Dontre Lemon than receiver number two, that's for sure. It's kind of a Garcon-ish. A little bit bigger body, but definitely a garson So we might have our Garcon and... Jackson, you know, like I said, I think I said last week in the video, I've been looking for whoever that next receiver duo is. That has to be exactly Deshaun and Garcon, but something that resembles just the, that versatility that the duo had and with the um, slot with Jameson Crowder at the time, which we have in Steven Sims. It was good seeing him get some looks yesterday. Still working back from that injury, but it's really good to, to see him making some plays. Uh, he had that key drop, which he really needed to pick up, but uh, Cam Sims bailed him out on that one. What she actually had to get to catch after that. So, never mind. Uh, Logan Thomas had a couple really good catches. O-line, for the most part, did really good. Alex Smith um, was sacked a couple times earlier in the game, but other than that, played really good. Um, it was interesting to see how Alex Smith is learning how to play in the pocket since he knows he's not as mobile, but he can still get around in that leg. I know it's not as comfortable, but he can still get around pretty good, so that's awesome. And, um, yeah, absolute heartbreaker. We let them get out too early. Mistakes are killing us. Turnovers. Uh, turnover on downs. Penalties. A couple penalties when we were down there in the red zone on the first drive, which pushed us back, and DeAndre Hopkins missed a field goal. And with that, you know, Washington fans are dogging on uh, Dustin Hopkins. And at some point, you just have to accept that's probably going to be the case for him. And um, Rivera did say that, uh, um, they are looking to bring in a kicker that will challenge Dustin to do better. Um, somewhere he may be he's kind of complacent that he's had a job for five years. He's like, oh, well, I got it no matter what. Um, so I think they want to make sure he doesn't get too complacent and get back to the kicking style he was when he started playing for us, which was awesome. Um, so I was saying, oh, I did, I did want to say, um, for those going to have to chase Young on that penalty, Yes, was it a dumb penalty? Yes. Yes, it was. But it did not cost us the game. We shouldn't have allowed the game to come down to such a point of that. Um, and that play really wasn't the one that solidified the, that field goal for the Lions. I mean, it helped. But what really solidified it was they had a three receivers out wide on the right. I, we and my roommates were in here, we were watching the game. And I'm saying somebody's going to have to cover that guy in the middle or he's going to get that first down. Not a single person covered him. He got it, got it uh, to whatever yard line it was and got down. I'm like, oh, well, we just lost because Matt Prater's money from that range pretty much. So, it's yeah, it was painful. Uh, I kind of knew it. I was like, why did nobody cover that? Why did nobody say, hey, open receiver, they only need like, like what, 10 yards? Uh, somebody go cover that man. Nobody did, which was absolutely heartbreaking. And especially for Alex, you could just see the heartbreak on his face when they cut to him after it because he has such a good game on his first start back. 
and it's in our division. These are games we have to pull through. We have to win these games. Our division is terrible. We've lost seven games, and we're only out of the top of the division by a game. So these are games we have to win. We have to start going on a winning spree. We had to beat the Bengals this week. We had to beat the Cowboys next week. We had to beat. We're not going to beat the Steelers, but let's say we we have to beat them. You know, we're not going to beat it. We have to beat the Eagles the second time. That could be the game that decides the division. Whoever gets the four and twelve first wins the division. Um. Yeah, so it's it's really going to come down to it. We're going to have to beat the other teams we play. I can't remember all of them. Um. What division? Oh, yeah, we got Seahawks and the Niners. Oh, yeah, so, woof. Do we ever play the Niners? I don't remember this season. I don't remember exactly what's happened all season, so. I don't think we've played the Niners yet. We have, no, we haven't. We can probably handle them. And uh, Seahawks, I don't know what's going on with them. But, uh, yeah, so that's, so December's going to be a big month for us. Winnable games, some that are out of our reach, but, Maybe there's a the game that we just upset and win. You never know. Um, absolute heartbreaker. We uh, a couple big plays allowed early in the game against Detroit. Uh, blown coverages. I think they were asking Kendall Fuller to do too much in uh, uh, defensive backfield, and uh, we we let him gash it down our throats with um, Swift, DeAndre Swift. So uh, we can't let that happen at all going forward. Um, our run defense is oddly the worst, which should be the best with our defense. Our pass defense is actually better. They didn't, I love to say they played awful. They didn't play awful yesterday. They allowed a couple big plays, which, yeah, it's awful. But, like, overall, with the game, the plays that were allowed, it wasn't too many big plays. Screens hurt us. Um, yeah, it was bad as well. But, um, it was just a heartbreaker, that's for sure. It was a very, it was such an awesome effort in the second half. John Allen says, you know, we didn't deserve to win it because a game is about playing two halves and we only really played one half yesterday. Uh, too many resident opportunities, but we're not coming through. Um, time of possession, we owned it and we didn't win, which is really weird. We had 20 minutes of possession and only three points at the beginning of the game, which is really bad. So this is it's minor but big stuff we have to work on going forward. And it's on to Cincinnati. We got to put this game behind us. And, you know, Chase Young owned up to his penalty. It cost us, maybe, but it wasn't the defining moment of Lions win. Um, so, yeah, heartbreaker, but got to move on. That's what we're used to as Washington fans. So I hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's video at Washington Station. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that thumbs, button, thumbs up button if you like today's video. Make sure to hit that bell button to be notified every single time I put a brand new episode of Washington Station or video to my channel. This week is the last week of videos that will be recorded here at Liberty. I uh, will be back home next week for a holiday break, which is actually until mid-January. So you're going to get a lot of the green screen is going to be back. Uh, the audio is going to be better with the mic. So it's going to be a great time going forward. Uh, two, one or two more videos this week. We'll see. And um, I'm excited to get back to higher quality video. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you have a great day. I'm Will Morris. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.